Hi everyone and thank you for tuning in another episode of Cloud Safari and today we will discuss the idea of how can we control the traffic between two different VNet in Azure that are uh, paired with a third VNet. So I'm going to start with the whiteboard first. Um, the idea here that we have a VNet, let's call it hub, and this VNet is paired with two different VNets. It's called the first one is spook a and the second one is spook b spook a is connected with hub using vnet peering the same goes for spook p now with this setup if we have machine here called machine a and machine there machine b we know that machine a cannot directly communicate with machine p both of them can communicate with any machine here. Let's call it machine C. So A to C is allowed, B to C is allowed. And by allowed, I mean there is there is routing happening there. You might have NSG or something else in between that will block the traffic. But by default, if you don't have any NSGs, the traffic should, should flow from A to uh, C, from B to C. However, this traffic is not allowed. And that's by default. Now, the question is, can we, if we add it here, Azure Firewall, can Azure Firewall uh, control this traffic and, and route the traffic from Spook A to Spook B? Typically, we do this with virtual appliances, but we didn't do this before with Azure Firewall. In the documentation, there is a tutorial about using the same technique, but the difference was uh, it was uh, using uh, VPN gateways. So there was a VPN connection or peering connection. Peering, I didn't see it uh, documented, so I thought I, I can do this quickly in a, in a quick video. Okay, so uh, to do this, I prepared my quick lab, so I'll take you through this now. So here is the topology that we have, I just explained. I have a Spook A network, it's a VNet, it has only one subnet, and in this subnet we have only one machine, VM Spook A, and Spook B has one machine that is VM Spook B, and I have a third VNet, it's called Hub, and it has only one one subnet that has Azure Firewall subnet, and it has inside it Azure Firewall. Let's check first the, the peering. So if I go to Hub, and let's go to peering, I can see it's peered, Hub to Spook A, Hub to Spook B, uh, both peered and both are connected. Now if we go to Spook A, peering, you can see Spook A to hub and it's connected, but there is nothing between Spook A and Spook B. To demonstrate this, I also uh, deployed the two machines, um, VM Spook A and VM Spook B. Let me connect to the two machines. So, to start with the first one, I'll create the public IPs just to make it easier to connect quickly to them. Not the best practice, of course. Okay, so now I'm in Spook A machine. Let's go to the second one. Sorry.
Okay. Now we are connected to the two machines. Let's use a, a, a quick tool in, in Linux called NC. So from one machine, I will listen, and from the other machine, I will connect. From A, I will listen. So here I'm listening to port 1433. And on the other one, I want to connect. But this time, I'm not going to connect using the public IP because I need to have the traffic going from from inside the, the vnet so um, to do this i will connect to 10.1.1.4 and this is the pop the internal like the private ip for spook a if you want to confirm let's go to machine a and now these days the, e the easiest way to confirm just click on connect and you can see the internal IP here okay so let's do this port 1433 I'm now if I'm connected if I wrote something here like hello it should be copied there apparently I'm not connected yet so let's go to the Azure firewall and see how can we make this happen Let's go to the rules. This is uh, rules depends on IPs and ports, so it will be a network rule. I will go to network rule collection, and I have already a rule here that I created that tells me well if the traffic is going from uh, 10.1.2, which is the the subnet that I have uh, machine B in, going to 1.1 which is machine A on this port, allow this as long as it's on the TCP, uh, using TCP protocol. So I'm allowing these and it, it should be working right now. However, I don't see this working, so why? That's because I didn't route the traffic to my uh, firewall yet. So what I need to do, let's go back here. So in the Azure firewall, I need to create a rule for it. That's done. Now, the second thing I need to do is I need to add a routing table. And this routing table should take any traffic originated to B or from A going to, to from B to going to A, should take this traffic and pass it to the firewall. Okay. Now, to do this, I created a routing table. Let me check the routing table with you. <clears throat> so this is the routing table and this is the, the routes inside the routing table. The first one, uh, I'm saying, well, if you are going to 10.1.2, uh, Please first pass to the next hub, which happened to be a virtual appliance. That's how we configure the Azure Firewall. And then the next hub is the IP, the internal IP for Azure Firewall. The same goes for uh, from B to A. So I did, I did the routing on both from A to B or from B to A. Now, the last step that I actually didn't do before uh, my recording is I need to attach this routing table to the subnets that has the machines. So to do this, I'm going to go to B, which has my machine, the client, and the subnet here, default, I will go to the routing table and choose this one. Don't forget to save. By now it should work, however, let's continue this on the other side as well. Oops, no, not this one. Let's go to Spook A, Subnet, the default routing table, and choose this one. Done. Now, by now, every time I'm trying to connect, the connection has to go through the, the Azure Firewall and Azure Firewall should uh, uh, allow or disallow this. And since I added 
uh, the the rule to allow it it should work now let's do this again so I'm connecting all right hello and should be read here um, I need to listen again didn't work with me maybe the rules did not take effect yet so I will start again the listening and start the connection yes it's now working and I can do this bi-directional so I can go that's why I did the routing on both ways um, from uh, A I can say hi it should go back here and this is B it should go to A and this is A should go to B so the routing is working right now uh, that was a, a quick video thank you again for watching this is Muhammad Sharaf uh, Cloud Solution Architect at Microsoft thank you